Technology is rapidly evolving every day. It is our present and also our future. There are different components to consider regarding the development of technology. Today, we are going to learn from professionals who are working in the industry that are knowledgeable in this matter. We have two guest speakers for today's seminar. That's right, partner. They are here to share their knowledge to us. So, are you ready, partner? Always ready, partner. How about you? Likewise, partner. I think our audience are also ready to listen to our guest speakers for today. So, let's start with the first topic of today's seminar, which is Introduction to Storage and Backup. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce our first guest speaker for today. He is an alumnus here in MU Institute of Technology. He is a computer engineering graduate and a former president of JPCS. He represents our institution as a student ambassador of Google and Mozilla Firefox Philippines. He is currently working in BXC Technology as downtime manager. Let us all welcome Mr. Mike Tahurao. Let's give him a round of applause. and backup. So before that, I'm going to introduce myself. So yeah, I'm a former alumni <coughs> here. I graduate 2015. So I'm already, uh, after I graduate, uh, my first company is uh, Soli HP. Who's familiar with Unit Packard? I guess everybody. Unit Packard. And then uh, we move on to uh, HPE, which is Unit Packard Enterprise. So I'm going to share you before para at least maintain uh, what's our company and what's our services. So, I started with Unit Packard after I graduate, and then uh, the company uh, split into Unit Packard Enterprise and Unit Packard Incorporation. So, Unit Packard Incorporation is solely for the hardware, and then Unit Packard Enterprise is for the uh, serv servers and solution support. After a year, uh, the service support from the uh, Unit Packard Enterprise was was merged by the CSC company and then you know, being an uh, DXC company, which is purely uh, uh, purely support yung service namin. And then Unit Packard Enterprise will be uh, continuing with the uh, software and service support. So para may, may designated na may designated sila na uh, functions and area uh, for clients uh, offer. So today, uh, I'll be introducing you uh, for storage and backup. So, sino may idea regarding sa storage and backup? Anyone? Kung hindi nagawa na isang storage and backup uh, engineer. So, yeah. Uh, lahat ba dito CD? Ayun. So, yeah. Uh, when I was uh, also in your nung nasa, ano pa ako, uh, college, uh, most most of us are inspired to be a network engineer. Yun talaga karami yung lagi. And then I have no idea with the other functions inside the uh, enterprise or corporation. So lahat ng business, uh, uh, my thinking ng mga students, gusto ko maging network engineer. Magsisisko ako after ng pag-graduate ko. Mag-take ako agad ng certification not knowing hindi naman talaga I mean, hindi naman talaga buong na absorb ng students but they're taking for granted it as per certification on my side uh, on my side sabi ko why would i take that certification hindi ko naman siya ginagamit sa role ko hindi ko ginagamit sa job ko so please be careful and be mindful sa mga uh, gagawin yung path or gusto kasi 
minsan masasayang yung mga certification na pinupunta niya kung hindi naman talaga yun yung gusto niyo. So, yun na. And then, so, when I started, I started as a technical solution consultant, which is a pure support, uh, kind of pure support. And then, after my two years in, I moved to storage and backup. But I only got only one year for it. Uh, Kaka-transfer ko lang sa Dante Manager last November. So, I'm still new with my uh, new role. But uh, for now, I'll be glad and very excited to share to you guys but at least you are aware what are other services, I mean, what other role uh, for an aspiring computer engineering graduate, uh, pag graduate nyo. But at least you have, you have already an idea. Who knows, you might be going to the Wintel, Unix, Enox database. Super dami ng, ano, super dami ng offer in the IT. So, don't be close-minded na kailangan mo hindi network engineer ako or computer engineer yung sawi. There's a lot of room of uh, opportunity outside. And uh, this one, uh, storage and backup, uh, when I started here, uh, I have no idea. Like, in-offer na lang sa akin, you like to be a storage and backup engineer? I mean, uh, I have no idea what, what I'm gonna do. So today, I'll be very excited to share to you guys. So, uh, we we'll start for today, uh, IT support engineer, that's the introduction. And then uh, enterprise infrastructure, uh, storage and backup basic, so you have an idea. And then the review, uh, my support uh, experience. So I'll start with a quote that uh, after people, uh, data is company's most valuable assets. Of course, the Philly Committee data and uh, uh, supporting the clients with their data is very uh, valuable to us. So, IT support engineer. So, before to start, uh, you need to have the skills. And what skills uh, should the storage and backup? So, first, uh, customer service. <coughs> customer service is a uh, very basic uh, skills that you need to have. I mean, when I started storage and backup, oh, I already have a customer uh, service. I do support with the customers, with the clients, to our uh, job role. So, yeah, storage and backup is not offered as for a fresh grad. Uh, most, most companies, they look for a five years experience, especially if you have a strong network uh, background. So, hindi naman, basta na pag-graduate mo, ah, mag storage and backup na lang ako, kasi maganda pala yung, yung ano na yun, chill lang pala dun, parang ganun. So, uh, no, they, they need experience, but if your academic background is good enough, and, uh, when you scope your network, you are uh, easily understandable with the basics of the network. It would be easier for you to learn the job. Uh, business knowledge. Uh, of course, uh, entering to the company or to the client especially, you must already know the background. Nag research na kayo agad. Uh, you need to know what, how important is, uh, how important is your data na clients. So important to business knowledge and how they interact with you willingness to learn. So there are a lot of rooms for a storage and backup engineer. So uh, there will be an opportunity that I uh, might think of you to land on the next job. But uh, for me, uh, yes, the opportunity actually is happening. Yeah, and then na ako ako yung next home job. It's because of this uh, storage and backup I mean. So maybe because of a good management skills that I learned from uh, this role, so I was able to take the manager role. Problem solving, so there will be a lot, a lot of different problems. So you must be ready to have uh, the problem solving skills because uh, there will be a lot of clients and uh, or the customers that will ask you, kahit may, may, may part na hindi na siya need, parang ganun. So you just be more patient with it. Technical, of course, uh, technical is a, uh, uh, what are the basic needs? So, ano ano pa ba yung mga kailangan ng mga technical? So, of course, basic networking. Uh, siguro naman sa network, may network na ba yun? Network Cisco. Siguro pag tipping na lang, di ba? Parang <laughs> madali lang naman sa inyo ma-identify yung mga ganun. Uh, basics na uh, technical skills. So, most likely we run scripts. So, uh, yung mga scripts na yun is, hindi uh, na puro naman yun. Within, kasi it, it varies, depends on the uh, uh, tools na gagamitin. And then, uh, proactive. So, yes, uh, being a proactive, you must, uh, you must be, 
able to uh, to get all the needs directives from your leads para at least uh, lahat ng ano, uh, lahat ng uh, leads ni clients is ma-provide. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna share you storage engineer first. So, storage and backup is hindi lang, uh, hindi, hindi ka magiging storage and backup for the same day. Of course, you cannot. Kasi sobrang laki ng isang storage and backup NDP. So, wala yun kasi siya. So, parang, for example, uh, you are only solely for the storage and you are solely for a backup engineer. You can't have both role at the same day. Kasi pahuhugos yung oras mo, you might not be able to execute all the actions needed. Uh, here, I'm gonna share you kung ano yung ginagawa ng isang storage engineer. So, uh, these are the basics, uh, rules that, uh, as a storage, actually, nagawa ko naman sila parehas. Within my one year stint, uh, na, na narotate naman ako. May storage din ako and naging backup din ako. But, uh, Pang second ko tong role yung storage, uh, nag-backup muna ako bago ako ng storage. So, for the storage, uh, we have support, maintenance, system engineer, and on-site remote. So, support. Paano ba, paano ba nagsusupport ng isang storage admin? So, there will be a ticketing process, or an email, or worst call. When you receive a call para nakakatakot na siya, nagkukol pag client na to, at dahil maybe there is an issue going on. So most likely support. So uh, we have a tool, it's a ticketing tool. Papasok na lang dun lahat ng mga uh, alerts sa server na oh, there, there is something with the uh, server. The system, uh, server is down, I need to check. Uh, by the way, it's not the server server itself, only server from the backup. So as a storage engineer, uh, he is tasked to monitor all the storage uh, uh, ser servers or storage itself na naka-on. Kasi pag hindi naka-on, saan papasok yung mga, mga data na binabackup, di ba? So, they are uh, more na support na when there is an uh, incident na papasok, it's like a ticket. Ticket, sino bang uh, aware about mga ticketing tools? Center price. So, pag wala pa kayong idea yan, so, most likely mga enterprise, they have ticketing tools. These tickets, Bapag, sino ba lang customers tumawag ka ng isang customer service? Bapag tumatawag ka ng customer service, uh, Sir, we'll be providing you a ticket reference number. So yung ticket yung reference number na yun, nandun yung lahat ng mga details, ng mga issues na nangyari. Regarding sa calls and issues ninyo. So most likely, lahat ng mga big enterprises, they're using a ticketing tools. Uh, some of samples is, uh, uh, HP has its own standard ticketing tools. But most like of the company are using service now. Yun yung, uh, yung service now is yung, yung halos karamihan ng mga corporate enterprise company. Yun yung ticketing tools yung ginagawit nila for assisting the uh, clients. So, papasok yung ticket doon. And then, there will be uh, different uh, priority. Either P1, P2, P3, P4. Nandun na yung kung high ba siya or low. Uh, hindi naman siya kailangan. So, pag P1, pag sinabi yung priority 1, or high level, so it needs an action immediately. And that means you have only a couple of hours to work on it. And then if there is uh, no level, like within the day lang, pwede naman 24 hours, or the next day mo na support yung need na yun. Kasi papasok yun yung support. So it will, for example, may, may server na magda down, or hindi connected, or full na yung storage, or need to be replaced, need to be replaced, so, uh, magaan yan, mag-auto-generate. Or, or, or the other type naman is yung client yung mag-release. Erase, mag-release siya dun sa ticketing tool. Mag-release siya that, I mean, we have an issue with this uh, specific storage tool. So, you need to kindly access and check with this one. So, parang ganun. So, papasok mo siya dun. And then, on our dashboard, as a storage admin, nakikita na namin dun kung paano namin isusupport. And then, maintenance. So, this is the daily route, uh, route that we are using. For example, uh, we need to check all the servers. Isa -isa yun. Lahat ng data centers, we check namin yun. Mula Singapore, uh, New Zealand, India, uh, Latin America, lahat ng scopes from the client sites. So, by the way, 
Ah, baka nagugulat kayo, paano ba yung clients namin? So, uh, just to start, Lalo? Saya ko lang party, so may ko sa akin. Ah, ganda na lang. Uh, for example, this is our company, DXC. And then we have a client that's called, uh, isa sa pinaka-biggest client namin is PNG. Plus, nakakalang ng PNG. Procter & Gamble. So, yun. Procter & Gamble. So, yun yung isa sa ano, namin client. Isa sa mga malalaking client. Rochelle, uh, McDonald's, Jollibee, yun yung mga clients namin. So, we support their storage and backup. Pero, depende, hindi naman lahat ng clients, may specific na kami clients. For example, ako, uh, storage and backup lang ako from Nokia alone. So, there is storage and backup from different client na handle nila. But we work at DXC and we offer those support. Yung uh, pagsusupport at pagmamaintenance. And there is a specific servers lang na chinecheck namin na nakasay lang solely for Nokia. So, yun. So, maintenance. Uh, check namin kung healthy ba yung condition niya, all green ba, so lahat ba nag, na, pag may error, may dashboard kasi yun, may dashboard, then may kita namin yung health. So, uh, hindi ko lang mapapakita sa inyo kung paano yung mga dashboard, yung itsura kasi, of course, uh, company's property, I'm not, I'm not allowed to share those other. Pero, let's see, mamaya pag ma mag-glimpse sa mga videos mo, yun, pwede, pwede nyo makita yun. Uh, being a system engineer, so yeah, uh, isa sa mga role din, so you have you have to know the architecture, the flow of the network system. Huwag uh, kayong kabahan, sabihin nyo, hala, paano kung may mahal yun? Tuturo naman yun guys, They're, they have a, a full training before you start so that you are aware what is the structure, the standard structure, right? kasi lahat yun naka-ano naman yun, eh. uh, naka-plat na yun lahat. So, all is audited, so alam nyo ba yung ISO? ISO certification, mga gano'n. So, lahat yun, dahil, dahil because of that certification, lahat, nakakulit, and lahat standard lahat. So, hindi, hindi kayo kakabal kung paano yung structure niya kasi nakadesign na siya. And already have started na already, way before. But, in case that there will be an improvement or or improvement dun sa systems or improvement sa landscape ng uh, infrastructure, well, uh, most, most na gumagawa nun is mga high level na, mga level 4, Kasi may ano kami, may level, level, level din kami. Level 1, 2, and 3. And I am 2. And 3 is more on the, are more on the infrastructure, kung paano yung, paano yung pag-design. More on 2, yung mga level 2, they are more on uh, the daily tasks, the daily routine. Kaya yun yung mga maintenance and support. They are uh, more on it. So, if in any case that the level 2 is not able to execute on it, uh, i-escalate lang naman nila sa level 3. Uh, to double check further. And then, on-site and remote. So, uh, technically, as a storage engineer, hindi ikaw mismo na nasa data center. Data center is not in our country. The data center is, uh, karanihan din sa sana sa Singapore, sa New Zealand, Sydney, or sa other across from Europe and uh, America. So, yung mga data centers na yun, for example, may isang server na nagdaw. So, na, uh, or there is an issue with the storage capacity. So, it uh, it will red flag by a ticket, ticketing to it or an email or a call coming from the uh, superiors, from the clients. Sabi nila, oh, we have a problem of these uh, certain servers. Can you further check? What a storage admin can do is only check via on his dashboard, via his uh, remote access. So, papasok kami dun sa isang virtual machine. Familiar naman kayo, di ba? Virtual machine. Yes, so may virtual machine kayo papasokan nun. And then, uh, on that area, you can uh, open the application for the dashboard. Right? Tapos nakikita nyo mga monitor nyo. You have, as a storage, and, uh, as a storage engineer, uh, your only option is only to double check, to check kung paano or titipin ba siya, nagiging correct ba. Lahat ng mga uh, uh, basic tools. Uh, basics na pwede nyo gamitin para ma-connect man lang or makita yung error. Uh, for specific devices sa mga servers na yun, may mga talagang naka-designated na support talaga nun. Di ba sabi ko sa inyo, uh, unit buffer is uh, more on the ser server. So, with each server na ginagawa,
uh, alam niya na kung ano yung gagawin doon. So, we'll call the on-court or the, they'll do the remote or, di ba? Kasi kailangan ng physical intervention pag hindi na kaya, di ba? Hindi na kaya sa end ng dashboard natin na, oh, nerestart ko na sa dashboard ko yung server pero wala pa rin, ganun pa rin, may error pa rin na lumalabas. So, it needs a physical intervention. So, merong on-site na pupunta doon. Alam niyo yung malaking, yung mga malalamit na data center, mga ganun. So, they'll just restart, check the cables if it's connected. Kasi, minsan, may mga data center. Aminado ako, may mga ibang data center. Mga dinadaga, mga ganun. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, totoo yun. Totoo. Akala ko nga, sabi ko, joke ba yun? Di ba parang closed, closed yun? Then, may mga, ano, uh, naka-aircon pa yun. May mga iba naman is, yung nababahaan. Yes, naka-experience na rin kami ng mga ganun. Napaka-disaster na mangyayari yun. Parang, mayroon natin yung trabaho kasi nag-down lahat ng servers, binaha yung lugar ngayon. So, down yung area na yun. Pero, of course, we have different data centers naman which we continue to support. So, may mga ganun incident din. So, on-site and remote. So, you are the one who will coordinate with the on-site and the remote. So, magre-remote lang sila. For example, uh, we need to to upgrade this specific server. Kailangan niya i-upgrade. Lagyan ba siya ng security patch? Ipupush yun. Ipupush yung uh, software na yun. Security patch or uh, or mga other updates uh, para ma, ma, ma additional features doon sa server na yun. So, for example, uh, magre-remote sila. Since they have no access directly with the servers, so magre-remote sila via the access. Kasi, Sa structure sa isang, sa isang company, may mga limited access kasi lahat ng mga tao. So, hindi ka pwedeng basa-basa na lang makapasok na lang sa mga servers. Each and servers na yun. It's still, uh, pagpasok ko pa nga lang, kailangan nyo ng, ano, agad din. Kailangan nyo ng interventions for security purposes. So, lahat ng papasok na servers, designated lang yun solely for you. Kasi we have a secu uh, security policy with the uh, data information. So, so yun. So, hindi sila basa-basa kasi HPE na sila eh. Ibang entity na yun. Bali other vendor na yun. So, lagpas na yun sa scope namin as we only support with the services. And then, uh, HPE is for the server. Pero may ibang vendor din naman na nagsusupport. Baka isipin nyo, may HPE lang pala, sila sila lang pala. There are other support, there are other support naman na iba ibang vendor. So, mamaya may share ko sa inyo kung sino-sino yung mga big vendor na mga competitor ng company namin. Uh, next is backup engineer. So, dito ako nag-start backup engineer. So, uh, almost same sila na ginagawa. There is still a support, maintenance engineer, a backup resource. But the support is very different. So, when a client, when a client sent an email or a ticket, uh, it will ask you, uh, backup team, can you please restore this uh, following servers or following uh, uh, following uh, information or data that I need to restore. So, may mga ganun. Iba na yung support niya. Hindi na siya more on checking with the uh, server or checking with them. Pwede. He's more on the specific client na client facing na. Lahat ng mga pag-restore ng server. Uh, Teka kayo, ano ba yung klaseng, klaseng data? Well, uh, we don't know what kind of data it is. It's already encrypted. Hindi namin nababasa yun, hindi namin nabubuklat yun na, oh, ala, ito pala yung mga pinaglalagay nila, ito pala, ito pala kalaking pera yung mga ano nila. Kasi more on, ano yun, karamihan doon is, yung mga file na yun is SAP, file, familiar with SAP? No, hindi yung pinag sa SAP. Karamihan ng graduate, crush graduate, gusto maging SAP. Kasi hindi gusto na naging SAP uh, support. Well, it's more a different story. Pero, uh, isa yun sa mga pwede maging goal, Pag-graduate ninyo, isin yun sa pwede nyong pilihan after. Uh, yeah, so there is a database in Oracle na uh, format. So hindi namin nabubuksan niya yung file na yan. But only as a specific date. Pagkari, papasok na siya, please uh, restore this, uh, this specific server, 170.blah.blah.blah. And then, i-re-restore namin yun sa time, kung kailan siya da, kailan yung last niya na nag-appear yung data na yun. So, for example, Monday. Monday kung nawala yung ano. So, ibabackup namin yun. Ibabackup namin yung for restoration. Kasi everyday kasi kami nagbabackup. 
Yun yung, yun yung main kinags na ginagawa namin. Every day, ginabackup namin lahat ng mga files. Uh, so each server, meron siya yung daily routine na ginagawa. So, pag hindi nag-success yung backup, there is something wrong with the connection. So, pag, pag may something wrong sa connection, then we'll do the uh, basic pin test namin kung oh, bakit hindi siya nagano. Nakikita namin yung error, and then if it's out of our scope, uh, minsan hindi na namin binapasa kay storage na, oy storage, but hindi na nag -ano. Well, kami na rin yun kasi isa lang din naman kami. Nag nagkaroon na ng designated, so ipapasa namin kay Wintel or either kay Unix na to double check with the server, try nila kay restart din sa end nila, and sila na yung gagawa ng work na yun. And then once they very done with the restart of the server, si most, on, most likely kasi ginagawa na talaga is restart, restart lang talaga, or check physically dun sa location, uh, gano'n. Don't worry, dito walang code. <laughs> Pero, meron ka ng scripting. So, uh, at least you have the logic idea. Pag baroon na mag-code, at least madali nyo na na mag yung scripting. So, yun. So, maintenance na ginagawa, yun nga, every day we have a daily task. But, nagsasabit pa nga kami every day na ma-report regarding na uh, healthy lahat ng healthy lahat ng servers. And we were able to back up all the leads. Uh, especially pag may mga specific na server na uh, itong server na to nakasakay dito lahat ng mga application regarding with financial ni financial ni Nokia for example ito yung if financial department na nakasakay dito sa server na to and this server from the back back up to ah, hindi hindi server na product production different yung production server kaysa backup na server we are only looking for the backup server so kailangan na, na, na si secure namin that it's all running. So, once na pumasok na yung once na pumapasok na yung mga data nila from the ser from the production server to the backup server, we we made sure na all those information, all those data are being kept. So, may mga retentions din yun. Kaya mini maintenance namin. So, uh, paano yung pagdapuno na siya? So, we we need to we need to ask from the uh, on-site for a physical, uh, physical, from the physical intervention na, oh, papalitan na yung mga tips na to. And we are talking not, not mga, hindi lang, 120, we're, we're talking about leaks, mga peta na to, ah, peta na mga uh, storage capacity. Mas mga malalaki na to, giga, 300, 1,000, mga ganun na, hindi yung mga maliliit lang na tayo. So there will be an intervention. So we'll we'll inform the we'll inform the ano na kailangan ng palitan yung palitan yung mga tips or sometimes we do recycle kasi di ba daily siya. So may mga part kasi na for the daily sa mga daily is uh, mag-expire. Yun yung mga mag-expire ng mga tips. So we need we can reformat them para ma-reuse siya ulit. So may mga retention kasi yung mga files na yun. Depende yun sa clients kung paano na pag-usapan. For example, uh, we need to have uh, this information must be kept one year. So, or one month, or depende yun sa na pag-usapan ng client. So, most likely, sa, sa amin, uh, we keep them one year. Yun yung pinaka-matagal, pinaka-mataas na yun, na, 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 na backup na ginagawa namin. So, we backup the file. We back up the file on the servers, and then uh, we make sure na magpupunta yun sa magpupunta yun din sa drive. Uh, we make sure that it's already clean and safe. Na meron kami na na back up dun na information. Magtataka kayo. Hala, ano ba yan? Kung itong talk na to, ba't meron pang, meron pang mga tapes? Di ba we're on cloud? Well, saan ba nag-i-store yung cloud? Di ba dapat meron ang sinasahin? Di ba? I mean, baka magtataka lang kayo na. We're on cloud, ba't gano'n? Ha? Uh, pwede naman kami doon magano. Well, sa small, small business, but at the big enterprise, uh, may sinatawag silang disaster, uh, this, uh, disaster something na ina-execute. For example, magkaroon man ng issue, magkaroon man na uh, sumabog yung buong building nila, they have the backup information. So, they contact, they contact the DNC directly to, to check all the details and information that are being saved. So kami yung mag-re-rebuild ulit doon sa kanila once or just in case that there will be an issue with their with their uh, company. Diba? For example, uh, nagkaroon ng malaking malware. Uh, Sino ba yung nakaalala yung last, yung ransomware? Familiar? Ransomware issue last time. So lahat ng mga big enterprises and we from the DXA was 
had a disaster issue regarding with it. Lahat ng mga, lahat ng mga clients namin, lahat yun, naka ano, uh, ini-riskan lahat ng buong servers just to make sure that there is no uh, certain uh, malware na pumasok dun sa servers. So, paano ba namin yung ginagawa? But of course, uh, there is a different team, that's the security team, who will do it. But for us, from the storage, uh, we'll make sure that all this, uh, all the data are being kept and being secured. So, for the system engineer, as, as, as a system engineer, as a backup, uh, of course, we should also be aware kung paano yung flow nung, the flow ng infrastructure namin. So, we, we meet na alam din namin kung paano, kung paano siya pumapasok, kung paano yung mga connections nila from client to the backup. So, at least pag nag-question sila, users, o oh, ba't hindi nagbabackup tong, uh, ba't hindi nagbabackup tong uh, network folder namin dun sa, sa, sir, sa backup server. So, yun yung ano namin, yun yung isa sa mga task din namin. So, we made uh, configurations, yun, isa din yun mga configurations, but more than likely, uh, we, we rely on the uh, application. Later on, uh, I'll be sharing you on the application. Mm -hmm. And last, yung backup and restore. So this is the simple steps na ginagawa namin. So every day, uh, we have we have a backup a routine na ginagawa. For example, uh, this Saturday, we have we need to backup this specific uh, server. So kami yung gumagawa, kami yung execute to make sure na, kumari, uh, monthly month, monthly information for example uh boom july kailangan nating i-backup yun so wapas kami ng weekend just to make sure or kasi naman yung mga uh, naka naka online sa amin uh, naka schedule for it so sila yung mag-execute noon ipo-backup nila yung specific uh, depende sa client request yun yung uh, ano namin backup and for the restore yun yung for example there is a specific date na kailangan namin i-restore because there is an information that the customer, the client needs the most. So yun. Pero depende pa rin naman yun kung gano'ng ka-severe or gano'ng ka-importante uh, ka or kailangan ka immediately, uh, kailangan na namin ng interaction na ganyan. So yun. So, <laughs> enterprise infrastructure. So this is the storage and the backup basis. So, simple lang naman talaga yung infrastructure namin. Well, I, there is a lot of difference. So, sa amin is we use the SAN system. May, depende kasi yun sa amin. Depende yun sa design. So, may mga topology kami yung pinapalo. So, most yung sa amin, sa DXC, we use the SAN backup system, uh, uh, chart. So, ito lang naman, pinapakita ko lang sa inyo. This is the basic, the very basic na kung paano siya, paano na nangyayari yung isang infrastructure ng backup. Simple lang talaga yung ano namin. We need to make sure that everything is all safe and of course, all is reco uh, recoverable. Kasi pag hindi yun na-recover, nakulagod. Kailangan na explanation kay client, oh, why was not able to recover those information? We made sure or we made sure na kailangan lahat yun na-recover namin. So may days. So simple lang. Uh, we have the clients, the server backup client. So, iba yung, iba yung port namin ha. Dalawa kasi yung port. There is a production port and a backup port. So, important talaga na uh, running lahat ng backup port. But, if the backup port is not online or uh, there is an issue with it na dapat mapacheck, temporarily, we can use the production. But, mabagay kasi yun eh. Mabagay siya babagal yung run, dahil na pag execute na kami ng pagbabackup or pag-check kasi ginagamit din ni client yung port na yun. So, uh, yun. So, server backup clients. And then the backup servers, yung sa amin. Kasi may sarili kami, sarili kami uh, server na dun kami nakakonect. And then, uh, this, this storage and uh, uh, tape backup, dun lahat na i-store ng mga informations ng, uh, from the clients and customers. So, for technique, uh, papasok kami gamit dito sa backup and server storage. So, virtual machine, pasok kami and then we'll uh, execute what it needs. Ayun, magre-restore kami, mag-backup kami, or mag-checking kami ng no? uh, servers. Kasi, pupunta kasi kami dun sa servers and backup client to double-check that OI is running and all the all the big informations na, na 
na important kay clients is na babakap namin. And we make sure na papasok siya lahat sa this storage and na take backup. Uh, this storage is more on the virtual. Virtual siya. Virtual siya na take. So, mamaya ma may skin burger. And then, take backup, yun yung mismong physical na mga malalaking tape. So, paano ba siya? Uh, physical tapes are, uh, yun yun, yun yung minomonitor from, from the uh, on-site or yung mga uh, pero depende kasi sa party or kay client kung sino yung mag-keep kasi may sarili ding mga stand alone na uh, storage na, na pwede niyang pag ano. pero sa amin, from the key account that um, I'm holding uh, it's a uh, DXC to may hawak no, ano. depende kasi kasi sa isang infrastructure ng IT marami kasi yun Saya mo lang, Mark, then para sa mga pakita ko sa inyo. And anyway, so, meron kasi, depende kasi yun sa, sa company for the client. Ito yung, for example, DXC is the company, and then si client. Si client lang yung mag, uh, mag dedicate kung ano lang yung magpapasupport sila. For example, dahil gusto nilang magtiwala sa DXC, sa storage and backup, pwede din si Vinted, si Unix, Pwede din yung iba't ibang company yung kukunin nila. Kaso mahirap yun. Sobrang hirap mga intervention lagi. So most likely, karamihan ng mga uh, big uh, big company, iisang, iisang uh, IT firm services na lang kinukuha nila. So nandun na lahat. Kompleto na siya. Nandun na SAP, nandun na yung database, nandun na lahat ng network engineer, nandun na lahat ng mga project engineers nila. Beba yun. So sobrang laki naman talaga ng IT infrastructure. So, kaya sobrang dami din namin sino support. So, isa na din yung storage and backup alone for 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 the infrastructure. So, if ever na may karon ng issues kuno rin, si clients magkaroon ng issues solely sa laptop niya, hindi naman siya tatawag ng storage and backup. Tatawag siya sa service desk, sa IT support, o para i-i-i-help yun. But if his her issue is regarding with the data he needs kami na yun, tapas na kami for intervention. Ano po ba yung nangyari, sir? Uh, I have lost my data information and this date, and the last time I had this information is ganitong date. So, kami, as, as uh, backup, uh, i-restore namin yung uh, information na yun, uh, or yung file na yun. But, hindi, if hindi siya recoverable sa end namin, o ba't hindi nag-run, ba't hindi nag, may something ata sa ano, we'll call it the help of the storage to double check further kung ano yung nangyari dun sa uh, server. Baka may lang decommission na yung server na yun. I mean, we can uh, double check or cross check kung ano talaga yung nangyari sa mga servers na yun. So, kaya dun dun si pumapasok si storage and lock up uh, to do the help and support. Kasi may sarili na kasi nangyari. May, may designated na talaga na may designated na talaga na uh, functions sa isang IT enterprise. So, Kung sakali nag-down si server from client side sa, sa production, hindi kami sasagot nun. Kasi hindi naman affected yung side namin. So, we either route them, kurwari, kung sakali lang accident silang pumasok sa storage and backup, ira-route lang namin sila from Wintel, Unix, or uh, sino ba yung may handle ng uh, specific uh, server na yun. So, sa amin kasi yung core Unix and Wintel. Familiar din ba kayo nun? Wintel. Sir, Unix. Oh. <laughs> so, dapat, ano, dapat marami kayo mga ganito kasi pagdating niya sa enterprise, yun yung karamihang mga role. And almost, kaya nga sabi ko nung graduate ako, ba't hindi ko to alam? Nasaan ba ako? Ba't gusto, gusto ko maging network engineer? And the, uh, at the first list, gusto, gusto ko maging, ano, gusto ko gusto ko maging network engineer. Eh, ang dami naman pala, ang dami naman palang roles. So, yeah, you do research guys. May Wintel tayo, may Unix. Uh, sila yung may hawak na. Well, your network, uh, Cisco, will be a uh, basic tools or can help you to learn those jobs kasi may idea kayo sa network system. So, most likely doon. Kasi, pag ano, alam ko yung mga role na yun is bihira lang talaga yung mga fresh grad na nakakabasal. So, at least at your young age, you're already open, you're already aware kung ano pa yung mga uh, role. Isa na rin yung SAP. SAP is one of the uh, biggest platform. So, SAP application, well, actually, nandun ako sa SAP, which is I'm a downtime manager <coughs> sa SAP. So, uh, sa SAP, uh, there is uh, yung mga financial, lahat ng mga HR department, lahat ng mga uh, different uh, specific department nila. May mga designated tools na sila ginagamit doon. 
But most likely, kasi SAP application is a very secure application. Information yung, yung SAP na uh, SAP file na yun, uh, we need, uh, may mga SAP file na kailangan namin mga backup file every day. Kasi yung mga important yun. Kasi nga, ang laman yung SAP file na yun is financial financial uh, information from uh, the, uh, the customers or minsan yung mga uh, valuable data nila. So, next. So, ayan. So, data storage. So, baka nila naka, ano naman pinagsasabi ni Buya? Hindi ko alam kung ano yung data storage. So, there, uh, this is one of the examples sa mga uh, data storage. So, uh, we have all flash hybrid data protection storage. Actually, dito ako mas familiar kasi we are using the data protector application. So, the data protector app, it, it, yun yung software version niya. This is the hardware. So, when we use those applications, papasok kami doon and then nandito na lahat. Nung, dito lahat papasok. Kasi may mga tips yan. May mga sarili sa rin mga tips yan sa loob. And then the file object storage. Uh, storage Automation Management, Enterprise Application, uh, Storage for VMS Containers, most likely mga IBM. Tapa din ang IBM. Sila yung masyadong gumagamit niya. And Storage Networking. Familiar kayo sa Dell, EMC. Familiar naman kayo sa mga malalaki tapa niyo, right? Mga Dell, IBM. Dapat, dapat nag-ano na kayo doon kasi graduating na ba kayo? Di ba graduating na dito? Fourth year? Fourth year na ba kayo? So, dapat ahead, nag-aano na kayo, nag-research na kayo kung ano yung mga dream company nyo. So, yung dream company ko, ano, isa yung HP. So, I'm so glad na uh, I'm with them. Uh, may video ako para may idea lang. So, ito ay isa sa...
the next era of tape storage. The new gold standard in mid-range tape automation, designed to meet your ever-expanding storage so, and tape protection uh, and long-term protections. Welcome to the HP Enterprise Store Ever MSL 6480 Tape Library. The MSL 6480 blends a unique combination of industry-leading scalability and density, unrivaled simplicity and so enterprise yeah, class reliability, uh, manageability uh, and performance at a competitive uh, price point, all of which satisfies so even the most demanding short-term data protection and long-term requirements. This new HP Enterprise Tape Library is specifically designed for backup and archive in mid-sized organizations and sets the industry benchmark for scale-out performance and capacity. The modular design scales vertically from 80 to 560 cartridge slots and from 1 to 42 LTO drives, enabling you to store up to 8.4 petabytes at speeds of up to 105.8 terabytes per hour in a single 19-inch rack. That effortless scalability preserves your initial capital investment, whatever degree of data growth might lie around the corner. Simplicity is the watchword of the MSL 6480, ensuring you keep your eye on the business, not on the technology infrastructure. The library is designed from the ground up to be easy to deploy, to use, to scale, and to manage. MSL 6480 tape as NAS delivers an active archive solution by combining the performance and ease of use of NAS with reliability and low cost of tape. While the MSL 6480 delivers the maximum scalability and performance, it also offers the minimum cost of ownership. Industry-leading storage density, the flexibility to reuse existing MSL tape drives and media, and the opportunity to consolidate multiple libraries and applications into a single library, all add up to the most cost, power, and space-efficient way to protect and retain your growing amounts of data. The MSL 6480 could also be the least risk decision you ever make. You can proactively monitor and report on performance, utilization, and the health of your tape infrastructure by a single pane of glass from across the room or across the globe. Indeed, your data throughout its life cycle with integrated security features such as native drive encryption and library-based key management. Scalable, affordable, easy to use. Protect more data for longer, for less, with the HP Enterprise Store Ever MSL 6480 Tape Library. So yeah, yun yung isang sample sa mga storage device na ginagamit namin. But, uh, pero medyo yun yun. <laughs> Dollar, so hindi basta-basta. And kaya nga yung ibang company, hindi sila nagkakaroon ng stand alone na IT nila. Like Nestle's or ano pa ba yung mga lalaking company. Hindi sila nagkakaroon sa mga stand alone. But they go to those uh, vendors who do the ser uh, serv servicing uh, options. So, uh, may handle sa mga specific na ito, nga, HP na kasi may handle na ito. So, sila yung sinasabi namin on-site, na tinatawag namin sa so on-site na nag-check. Most likely karamihan sa kanila is mga unit buffer uh, deployed. But us, who's already separated from them, uh, we're already from the DXC, so we are only so, uh, solely with the service and the support. So, pag sinabing uh, storage issue na talaga, or intervention na siya, or yung mga up, up, upgrade on software, <coughs> sila HP since, uh, uh, yun, yun yung lagi namin kinano. For example, pag lalapit sila kay DXC, uh, ang, uh, ang, ang inaano ni DXC is, pinupush nila na sana sa HP din sila since they are uh, sister brother company naman. So, pinupush nila na oh, since kami yung magsasupport from your server, you might consider to go for uh, uh, HP company for the ser uh, servicing for the service naman, uh, sa server naman nila. So, yun. So, yun yung isa sa mga uh, isa sa mga uh, uh, server na meron kami. But um, more likely, kasi yung iba is mga lima na katulad sa amin, which is mga legendary na tanong din. Since, uh, per, per, yes, ito. Yung iba kasi dun is, for example, kasi by contract kasi yan. 
So, for example, since yung sa amin is mga old na, hindi, hindi, hindi pa ako nagamit ng ganito, pero MSL, mga lower version, yung ginagamit namin. Um, yung, yung mga tape library na yun, kasi pag ang contract kasi ng isang company, may specific na kasi yung mga nakasend. So, yung iba, tulad nung sa amin, uh, uh, sinakakalam ng Alcatel na company, which is already merged with Nokia, di ba? So, hindi ko nalaman na, huwag grabe ang tagal na para, it's because they are, pero tapos yung contract nila. Actually, they have they've been uh, 15 years already. So, syempre, yung mga iba nun, hindi naman mag-offer ng, gusto ba kayo kayo dito sa bagong ano namin, storage, hindi. Bayad na yun eh. Bayad na yung, bayad na yung mga nila. Kaya, as much as possible, nila nila sa akin namin nila yung mga storage na yun, ay yung mga specific servers. Kung ano lang yung nakaset, kung ano lang yung binayaran ng client. Taka gano'n. So, Ah, uh, yung ito, <laughs> hindi ko ba ito siya natin, right? but yung, no, yung old version ng amin, kaya sobrang bagay. Sa last year na, sobrang bagay, mag-kit, hindi ako makapasok agad sa connection. Hindi ba ito pwedeng i-restart na lang nila ulit para mas mag-use. Sa na lang kayo, miss, kasi uh, check-in with the dashboards, lalo na pagpapasok ka sa isang MSN library, just to counter-check na, na healthy lahat ng uh, server na yun, yung server na yan. Parang naka, nakakapagod kasi maghihintay ka ng reload lang tapos nakaupo ka lang, wala akong ginagawa kasi kailangan mo lang masulat sa report na oh healthy po yung status nito, ito na po yung storage capacity na ito na po yung natitirang ganito okay. next, next week pa to pwede i-reformat yung mga uh, tapes na nakasakay dito parang ganyan so well, yung, 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 kaya yung iba gusto mo sa maging storage kasi mga yung checking lang talaga sila mga yung monitoring lang talaga sila sa server kasi napaka-chill lang yung rule na yung state na naman pala na ginagawa <laughs> May ano yun, no? Cool, but... Anyway... So, yeah, more and monitoring, but... Uh, one thing na uh, uh, is good is, of course, you need to know kung ano talaga yung mga devices na gina ginagamit. Uh, yeah, like, the store, uh, VMS, yun, like IBM. Depende kasi yan sa pagkat. Kaya hindi, hindi na ako nagpakita ng uh, tools specifically sa amin. Kasi baka pag-time ninyo na mag-apply na kayo, ibang... Ibang ano na yun, ibang device. But at least, you are aware sa mga uh, uh, storage na object. Well, uh, just in case lang na gusto nyo mag-pursue as a storage and backup engineer. So, next. So, uh, Enterprise Backup Application. This is HP Data Protector. Ito yung ginagamit ko for the backup. Kasi nung nag-backup engineer ako, dito ako nahasa. Ito yung pinaka... <laughs> pinaka mabagay. Ito <laughs> na. Ito yung uh, complicated. Actually, isa lang sa mga complicated. Kasi nakukompare ko siya from the other, like uh, VM. Uh, there is a storage engineer admin naman na ibang ibang software yung hawak nila. Kasi may mga iba kasi, pero sabi ko sa iyo, sila client, iba-iba. Minsan may mga nakasakay pa silang sa luma nilang pinagsakyan. For example, IBM. So, mahirap kasi siyang ilipat, mag-transfer ng mga files, ay yung, yung system na yun, ililipat na ang DX na nga hawak dun sa for transferring. Complicated yun. But yung ibang company kasi, hindi agad yan sila nagka-transfer. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, karamihan ng mga clients, they settle for 15 to 20 years. Do, ano? Kasi ang mahal eh. Ang mahal lang isang, isang IP support. So, siguro may clean na yung 10 years for the support. Pero ang worst is may ibang 5 years na support na hinahandle nila for the servers. Yung pag nag-offer sila. Kasi pag, pag umalis ka, back to zero na naman ulit. So, iba na namang tao ang hahawak nun, iba na naman yung process na yun. So, kaya gusto nila mag-set up sa mga matatagal, yung mga, ano, kaya, yung iba, for example, ito, HP Data Protector, well, hindi ko kasi nagamit yung updated na version, yung ginamit ko ata is 7, and then ngayon 9 na sila. Kasi yung mga 9 na upgraded is more like is dun sa mga bagong clients na yun, na-offer. Yung 7 kasi, hindi naman nila binayaran yung upgraded. Kasi kung, kung gusto nila, babayaran lang naman yun, another, Pera naman. Pera naman yun. Pera naman yun sa company namin pag yung kapag-upgrade sila ng mga software. Ganun, ganun yung business. Kaya doon kami kumikita. Kaya mas gusto namin, sana mag-upgrade na lang sila mag-upgrade para walang matanggalan sa atin ang trabaho. Ah, ganun. Of course, guys, there is no service na hindi naman na, 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 na kumutihin yung support. Maring, bawal ka ng trabaho, hindi na magiging happy si customer, hindi pa na siya sa iba. So we make sure that all are uh, at least na may maintain or na may maintenance. So, yun. So, for enterprise backup application, yun. Isa yung HP Data Protector. Mga mas madali, nagamit ko na itong 
nagamit ko na itong uh, ESM ko, sobrang dali lang talaga niya. Sobrang click and click lang na para ba uh, ipabackup mo siya and then kay HPD to the protector. Uh, marami pa kasi siyang ginagawa. I mean, napaka, yung configuration niya kasi napakahira. But at least dito ako nahasa. And then, networker, uh, Dell, Dell company, sila yung gumagawa nito. May sarili kasi sila, may sarili niya ng standard for application. And, greatest net backup, uh, semantic. <coughs> Kala nyo, ano lang sila, no? antivirus, pero may sarili sila for the storage and backup. Well, of course, because they are offering security uh, security for the virus, mga ganun, di ba? Kaya meron sila sarili. Yes, it, ito rin, isa dito sa pinakamadali yung ano. Kasi parang, siguro yung mga nagtatrabaho ay yung mga nakahawak ng uh, net backup. Wala ba talaga sa inyo al alam sa net backup? But al alam nyo sa university, ah, uh, Papua University, some of the students already have been tuturo na siya, net backup. It's the basic one for, for that. So, you, you guys, uh, please do research pa kasi baga magustuhan ninyo. Ito yung pinakamadali, uh, siguro for, uh, for isang shift, may hour shift shift, siguro mga 2 hours na sila naka-upo nila, tapos na sila sa trabaho nila, na-backup na nila dati na backup. Unlike dito sa data protector na, wait, 10 hours na, hindi pa ako sa buwas. So, yun. Pero, malalaki naman yun. Malalaki. Still varying naman. Still varying what data information is being stored. So, papakita ko sa inyo yung demo for data protector on how it works. the data protection needs of the modern data center, a fundamentally new approach is required. One that goes beyond traditional backup and recovery practices to deliver business resiliency, scale, and resource efficiency critical to meet today's dynamic data center and business needs. HP Data Protector software is an enterprise class backup and recovery application that from a single pane of glass or a full function command line interface enables you to efficiently protect your data instantly recover your mission critical applications and turn your backup data repository into an information asset. Let's take a look at some core components. HP Data Protector gives you a clean user so, interface okay, allowing interface. simple navigation with the use of this drop down menu, enabling quick and easy access to any task you want to do within Data Protector. You can easily add servers into your environment from the same domain, from a different domain, or from a work group. You can simply type in the name of the server, or you can use the drop-down menu to make a choice. Since Data Protector is a true enterprise-class backup solution, it has API-level integrations into your most mission-critical applications, such as Microsoft Exchange, SQL, uh, uh, or applications and many uh, others. But when you install Data Protector, protector an installation server is installed onto the cell manager and contains all the components that make up Data Protector. This allows for easy push deployment of components to your clients. Simply select components you wish to install, such as a disk agent, which gives you the ability to back up the file system. You can select the media agent and even an application integration. When you select Finish, Data Protector takes care of the rest with a push installation. Since no reboot is required when installing the components, you don't have to wait for a maintenance window to add new clients, components, or upgrades to your Data Protector environment. Data Protector gives you a wide range of options for backup targets, such as physical tape, virtual tape, HP Store Once backup solution, and many others. Data Protector includes HP's Store Once deduplication software to give you the ability to deduplicate where you want your environment, such as at the source, a backup server, or at the target. When you combine HP Data Protector end-to-end -end federated deduplication solution, 
This gives you the ability to deduplicate at your remote offices and replicating only changed blocks back to your data center. When creating backup jobs, Data Protector gives you the ability to work with templates specific to the type of backup you would like to create, such as a file system or one of the many application integrations that Data Protector offers, such as Microsoft Exchange, SharePoint, SQL, Oracle, and your virtual environment such as VMware and Microsoft Hyper-V. Data Protector uses a common workflow method when creating backups, regardless of the type of backup job. Let's take a look at creating a file system backup and how simple that is. You can simply choose a blank template or one of the many predefined templates. We'll work with a blank template. As you can see, you have all your clients listed here. Since Data Protector allows multi-streaming, you can select more than one server to back up within a job and so we'll go in specific sa uh, device ni user connecting via the VM, uh, uh, the VM uh, connecting the virtual machine. So pag pagpasok namin doon, connected na kasi yun from uh, bytes to bytes. So specifically, there is a specific folder na para bang uh, dito yung gitong folder na to sa C or dito siya nawala. And can you kindly uh, put it on a different mark or different folder kung saan siya ipapasok. So para kasi hindi mali dito si users na once na nag-recover na, nandun pa rin yung specific file at least aware kung saan siya i-define. So isa yan sa mga uh, itong part na to sa backup. Yun yung ginagawa na. Even different operating systems. As the backup job starts, all the servers you selected will start in parallel, giving you multiple data streams for each server, giving you fast and efficient backups. Next, you select your backup targets, such as a virtual tape library, physical tape library, or HP Store One's appliance. Next, you select your retention time, which can be none, days, weeks, until, or permanent. Now you can easily set a schedule for your backup job by simply selecting so, ayan, so, <coughs> kasi wala tayong board, yung commit mo na ito actually. So, for, for doing the backup, uh, ayan, may specific na kasi kami papasukan ng dual na client, and then we'll do the backup job. So, uh, pipili kami sa schedule, depende kung ano. So, there is a full, uh, increment, uh, incremental full, full increment, that it is. So, most likely, ang ginagawa namin is, there is a two types of a backup. Incremental and decremental. Incremental means uh, every day siyang nagbabakap. Every day siyang nagbabakap. Pero yung binabakap niya is kung ano lang yung nagbago. Decremental naman is yung buong state. Nung araw na yon, yung date pa ng buong state. Nag-gets nyo ba? Malitig wala. Incremental, for example, there is a version 1. Monday, right? Monday to Friday. So, Monday, meron siyang version 1, version 2, version 3, version 4, version 5. But, dun sa specific na file na yun, is may mga nabago lang. So, nag-iiba na yung ano niya, diba? Nag-iiba na yung storage size niya. Ang kinakapture lang niya for the incremental is kung ano yung mga nagbago lang. So, hindi siya mabigat to to do the backup work. Mas mabilis, mabilis lang siya, parang segundo lang pag mga madilit na file. At least. So, pag, pag decremental naman, is yung buong state niya. Kunwari, may binago ka. Kunwari, A, tapos naging B na sa pangalawa. Naging C na pangatlo. Nag-iba na siya. Hindi na siya totally yung, yun na yung file na yun. Nag-iba yung file. Hindi na, nag, hindi na nag-iba yung virtual state. But nag-iba na yung buong file niya. Kinakapture siya day to day. Go yun. Mas malaki yun. Mas mabigat. Mas matagal. But, most con, uh, most con, uh, cause, ang pinaka, mabilis na, lagi na yun offer is incremental state. Kasi mas, mas mabilis lang siya. Ah, uh, ano. And then, when we do the backup, it's daily. Daily to guys. So, everyday, uh, ano, kami, nag-i-pindin doon. Kaya, sabi, sabi ko, pag, pag data protector, ang 
Tagay. Tagay niyo matapos. So every day, each and servers, each clients connected with the server, binabackup namin yun. Kaya may ginagawa kami. Kaya talaga, nakaupo lang talaga. <laughs> nakaupo lang talaga kami na. So every day, completing lahat. So may kita rin kasi every, lalo na pag end of the shift, minsan nagpapasa kasi kami ng mga reports or minsan may mga reports. Nagre-reports kami actually, lalo na sa mga clients. So to the double check that we are doing our work, doon, doon kami nakikita kung doon kami nakikita yung visible. Kaya nga, ganun ka important yung isang storage and backup kasi nakikita nila yung halaga namin. Na, dahil na pag nawala yung ano nila, fine, no, the rest yung kami ha, kami yung pita dito. Kaya chill lang kayo dyan, so parang ganun. So, each and every day sa so mga uh, states, so for example, uh, 25, right, for example, nung Thursday, nagkaroon ng issue si user, uh, ibabalik lang namin yun sa state sa anong Wednesday, kung ano yung itsura niya. Very specific, ilalagay lang namin yung file na yun, specific kung sa folder lang niya, mas madaling makita yung file na yun. So, ganun lang kadalit yung ano, uh, kung paano namin gina ginagawa. And then, uh, there is a uh, full, full, full uh, backup, which is on, nangyayari siya every, every weekend, and every first or end of the month. May tinatawag kami daily backup, weekly and monthly. And may mga retentions yun. For daily, uh, may retention siya 7 days. So, nabukura din siya agad. But, since magtatakbo ng ano, week, weekend, for the weekend, for the weekdays na backup, dun po ang pasok lahat ng ano, may retention yung weekdays na yun, ng 1 month. Yung 1 month na yun, na ano niya na, na nakuha niya yung buong, na-capture niya yung buong file, na lagay na din sa weekend weekdays. So every weekend, lalo na pag naka-on shift ka ng weekend, so you make sure na lahat ng mga weekly is nagraragin yung backup nun. Kasi yun yung mga pinaka-important weekly. Kasi pag, pag days lang, hindi ka naman pwede kunwari na walang ka pala ng information, hindi ka naman sa daily mag- ano, kasi baka wala na yun. Kasi yung retention nga yun is one week lang. And for the weekly naman, meron siyang monthly retention. Ina-capture na yung buong one. So uulit siya ng run. Kaya nga matanay siya. Kaya nga, yung takbo niya is either Saturday hanggang sa Sunday, natatapos yung rotation ng pagtakbo niya para may save na siya sa day. Yung monthly naman, nangyayari siya every other, either first week or last week. Bakit? Kasi masyari mas mataas yun. Pagsakali, pero nangyayari siya during weekend. Kasi sobrang laking fine na yun. So minsan, ginagawa siya uh, first, ano, first, uh, first week or last week. Kasi sobrang Tapos sa time na yun, walang weekly na tatakbo. Monthly lang. Hindi naman tayo pwede, o oh, mag-run muna ng weekly bago mag-run ng monthly. Hindi na. Monthly na. Kasi kina-capture na na yung lahat. Nagigets nyo na ba yung logic ko? Ganun yung uh, simple logic sa storage. And it applies to all the storage and backup. Just in case na, at least pag tinatanong kayo, and then you can proceed as a storage and backup. Please may idea na kayo kung paano nag-run yung backup. Ah, ganun pala. Daily, weekly, monthly. Pag tinanong kayo sa inyo, ano ha, interview lang yan ha. So, at least you have an idea. Kasi ako, nung ako, ako wala kasi akong idea ng time na yun. But, due to dahil naging uh, consultant, ah, uh, naging technical support naman ako, I have idea kasi may mga nakausap din ako mga storage and backup. Yun yung mga diniscuss nila. Then, actually, it helps me a lot na nag-land ako ng job as a storage and backup kasi may idea na ako. So, ganun na talaga yung logic niya. So, monthly and then, ah, uh, Yung monthly naman, meron siyang one-year retention. Yun yung, yun yung tinatago namin sa ano, tinatago namin yun sa on-site for, for uh, keep use yun. Kasi napaka-importante yun. It's for the risk. Uh, uh, yun yung parang uh, recovery risk something management na kinikip nila. So, pag, pag nagkamali ka na format at na, na format mo yung monthly, lagot <laughs> Kasi pag sa alin nagkaroon ng issues or hindi mag-recover ng date na yun, and nagkura mo yun, naku, ma may hihirap ako either mga nga pa ka for the weekly, kung anong state yung hinahanap na yun. Either sa daily ka, iisa-isa rin mo siya. So, so doon kami naging maingat. And it is sa mga uh, uh, tasks, lalo na sa isang backup. In schedule, now you can simply select your reoccurring to be weekly. Now set your start time, let's say, to 2 a.m. We can select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and select our backup time to be incremental. 
Now we select OK. Now we select Schedule again, setting our reoccurring to be weekly, our start time to be 2 a.m., and this time we'll select Friday, and the backup type to be full. Within one backup job, you'll be backing up multiple servers all in parallel. You've set the retention. So, ayan, so, kunwari, nag-set na kami ng ano, nag-set na kami. Actually, automatic naman nag-run yung backup in the background. Baka inisip nyo, lagi namin inano yun. Nagma-manual run lang kami pag nagkaroon ng failure, nag-fail yung specific, specific server na nag-fail siya na mag-backup. Doon na kami nagma-manual. But, most likely, uh, check namin dyan, nakikita namin kung ano yung, ano yung run niya, kung ano yung schedule siya tatakbo. May schedule siya kasi may region. So most likely, backup runs <coughs> pag hindi siya yung customer. So most likely, I think, pag morning kami, for example, pag morning, uh, yung mga, yung mga, yung mga uh, backup applications nagra-run sa gabi nung hindi, wala sila sa office. Kasi it's safer for us to run kasi may mga iba. For example, depende kasi dito yun sa application, but dito sa ano, uh, we run in the background. But dun sa isang, isang application yung kanina pinakita ko is may schedule naman sila. May schedule yung backup ko ng backup. Kaya kailangan siya may manual. So ito na yung kinaganda dito is uh, nakaschedule na siya lahat. Pag-run niya na the background, ito-double check na lang namin yung, yung backup. Yung backup kung nag-success ba siya. Pag hindi siya nag-success, dun, dun kami magtatakbo. Especially yung mga monthly, kasi sila minsan yung karamihan ni Fifi. So, kasi sobrang taas niya, and siyempre may nagkakaroon ng server issues. So, uulitin na naman namin yung pag-ride nung, nung monthly na yun. Or mag-re-schedule na naman kami na kailangan niya talagang ano, sa loob ng isang buwan, kailangan maka-isa talaga. Kasi pag hindi yun ang isa, questionable na natin yung kailangan customer. O, saan sa nyo? Kukunin nyo mga ano, pag hindi nyo na, pag hindi nyo yun na uh, successful kung titang isa sa mga monthly na yun. Kasi yun yung monthly yung pinaka- uh, sinisipure. Kaya nga pag ano, walang magre-reformat or ba't ng ano, na monthly kasi napaka-delegado na yun. Time. And you also created a schedule for both your incremental and full backups. Now we go to the next screen and we get a summary of the clients that we'll be backing up. We have the option to save our backup job start the backup job, but we can even preview a backup job which allows us to do a test run without ever moving any data. So we'll know if we've created a successful backup. Restores are done just as easily as setting up a backup schedule. Let's take a look at restoring a file in the file system. Select Restore, select the server, select which file system we want to look at, and here we can drill down and select the file and version we want to recover. Choose the destination, where you want the file to be restored to, and under what name if you want to change it. Then we simply select Restore. Now you've seen the power of Data Protector, a true enterprise class backup solution that allows API level integrations into your mission critical applications with federated deduplication. A single solution for your entire data center covering both your physical and virtual environments, giving you breakthrough scalability and performance. Thanks for watching. So, yeah, this is one of the things that we use as a data protector. So, at least uh, you have already overview of what we use, but there are other applications could do research kung ano, lalo na pagkapasok kayo sa certain company, at least you have the background already kung ano yung tool. Well, IHP Data Protector serve as the manager or the dashboard kung saan ninyo na nag-review. But, there are also other type, kasi minsan pumapasok kami via uh, CLI. Sino kung so familiar yun? CLI. So, parang, parang siya dun, dun ka mag-aano. Uh, uh, how do you say? CMD sa atin, diba? Sa, sa Windows. Para siyang ganun. So, parang papasok tayo sa per servers, at least nandudobo siya yung natin. But most likely, hindi naman tayo si CMD, tayo na pang mga big enterprise, there are specific tools that we use to run our scripts. So, yung mga scripts na yun, 
uh, which also helps. Kasi mas mabilis kasi pag nag script things, kasi minsan yung mga dashboards na ito nag-hang. Nag-hang siya. So, unable to, uh, unable to access. Lalo na pag production pa nakakonect. Sobrang bagay din doon. So, kaya kasi po, mabagay kasi depende. Depende naman kasi yung sa uh, applications on how it runs through the connections sa servers. So, before I proceed, so parang ganito yung running background. Actually, wala rin, actually, wala rin akong idea. Nanonood lang din ako sa mga video clips kung paano ba talaga nag-run siya work. Kasi more nasa dashboard lang talaga sa amin. Eh. So, hindi namin siya na nabibview kung paano. Pero ganito lang yung run niya sa isang, uh, isang malaking storage na isang malaking storage na data center. So, yun. So, parang ganyan. So, puro, puro malalaking, puro malalaking uh, tapes na nandiyan. So, may isa rin yung server set, pero may mga iba, yun yung mga hard tapes, lalo na dyan, dyan yung kinukuha. So, for example, may mga vault, actually yung vault yung tawag sa kanila. Vault. And then, kinukuha, may mga minsan, lalo na pag physical intervention. In, for example, o oh, yung tape na to, is is in eject na may may internal uh, internal intervention din para kukuha ng tape but most uh, especially ngayon sa mga malalaking data center uh, <coughs> ano na siya may parang kamay para siyang robotic arm na malalaki is kukunin na lang niya so yan lahat ng mga storage na yan na connected sa mga servers or either yung iba din for the server for the storage type nakakonek sila bias bias storage server but meron ding iba na yung storage is for the server from the client from the client perspective na gigets niyo naman di ba hihiwalayin ko lang ulit ha iba yun sa storage na server which is pwedeng ganito din yung itsura niya and then meron ding for the client na storage which is sa yung sa kanila na side kami is ano na kami para kami yung third uh, man na parang Ita transfer namin siya from this storage, uh, from this uh, production storage sa backup storage. Then, iyan namin siya, i-comply eh, iko namin siya na nasasasful namin siyang capture. And once na capture, lalo na yung mga important, ita transfer namin yan sa mga physical, mga malalaking tape. And then, yung mga malalaking tape, sa mga sila pupunta, ginatago sila sa mga ibang buildings, sa ibang location. And then may mga sariling ibang vendor yung mga mahawag na which is mga sila yung mga nag-ano. Yung sa amin is yung company na Iron Mountain yung pangalan. Uh, hindi ko lalo kung nakikita nyo. Pero nagulat ako sabi ko, ay sa Philippines pala may parang gano'n pala. May gano'n silang ano. Pero they serve from different. Nakikita na ako isang gano'n. Uh, they're a truck, tas i-ano nila yun. Sa isang safe na lugar, kung, kung saan hindi binabaha, hindi, hindi nagkakaroon ng mga Uh, mga daga, mga gano'n. Kasi at least yung tape na yun, na ano. But once na yung retention ng mga tapes na hawak nila, is mag-expire na. Kasi tapos na yung ano nila, retention. Like one year, hindi naman hindi namin or what. That needs to be reformed. It really used it. Babalik na ulit dun sa 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 amin. And then we, we do the reformed. Then once done, pwede na namin siyang lagi ng bago data. Ganun. Ganun, ganun yung ganun namin ginagawa. So more on checking yung talaga in transfer with the correct flow nung <coughs> nung pag pinagbabaka pa ito. <coughs> so, ganyan na siya. Sobrang kung ano lang. Isa yan sa mga example. So, uh, for review support experience, so, yes, uh, technology has a cost and solution. So, uh, it's always been, a, uh, for me, as a support, for my experience, it's always to employ uh, good documentation practice to track in all interactions with the customers. So, uh, for this, lahat ng mga information na pumapasok sa amin, dapat documented namin yun. We're all aware how it goes and how 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 we respond with the client. So lahat lahat ng mga issues nila from 
from security, from the database, from the servers, from the applications ko na uh, ginagamit nila para alam namin kung paano namin uh, gini-give yung support regarding the load. So, most likely, it's more uh, technical uh, support purely, but you are uh, designated to specific uh, uh, storage role, uh, storage and backup role. So, kaya nga, uh, isa din siya sa mga pinaka-important kasi uh, sa storage and backup, in my experience, is uh, nakita ko na kung gano'n sila kahalaga. If walang storage and backup, who will uh, who will serve for the... You know, diba? Kasi, diba, tayo, pag nagka-lagnat nagka tayo, diba, uh, it's just we, need, we, we just need for uh, one to two days to take our uh, rest and then we're good, we're okay now. Pero what if sa computer, di ba, pag nagkaroon ng mga malware or issues or virus or uh, uh, hindi nila sure na kung nasaan napunta yung mga files nila, then uh, we're here to come to the rescue. So ganun ka, ganun ka. And so storage and backup is helping the clients, especially mga big business. Informations and contacts from the uh, customer is really uh, uh, valuable from them. And for us, uh, as a storage and backup, uh, we need to make sure that uh, we were able to help the client. Na sa client din nila, na support nila is uh, all this security. So it's always been a customer experience. Though as a storage and backup, uh, bihira lang namin silang na interact yung mga customer. Kasi, hindi naman talaga namin sila nakakita, hindi namin sila nakakausap. Kaya nga, uh, uh, nagkaroon pa ng issue na ni, bakit pa kami mag-for? Bahay, eh, hindi naman kami nag-issue ng time. I mean, naka-issue lang yung iba din sa office, parang ganyan or what. But, of course, kaya nagkaroon kami ng mga bagong policy na, eh, pwede nang mag-t-shirt sa loob ng enterprise. Kahit, di ba, parang nasa corporate job ka na, pero naka-t-shirt, t-shirt na. Kasi, hindi naman kami nakikita. And, most of, most of us, uh, ako work from home pa nga yun. Actually, we can do work from home. Diba meron na yung group? Yung group yun. Ah, ano lang. So, sobrang, ay, okay na lang. Pero, like, my experience, meron kami isang araw. Isang araw na work from home. But, of course, it's a disaster, actually. Dahil na pag-slow yung internet. Slow na kasi yung internet connection. So, mas 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 maganda kasi. Lalo na pag nagbabakap ka. Kasi matagal kasi matatapos eh. Pag-click mo pa lang sa application, ba't ayaw nang mag-run ng backup? Para yun. So, uh, mas maganda kung mas maganda yung connection mo, at least pag run mo ng backup, mabilis na agad yung ikot, and you have already the results if it's completed or successful. Ah nga pala, paano, ba, paano pala pag, nagiging, pag hindi pala naging successful yung backup? May mga error kasi nalalabas. May mga error. And meron naman kami, uh, meron naman kami uh, first uh, level of support kung paano namin i-handle yun. For example, if if we need to double check the connections, the configurations of the IP, paano ba yun? Pag hindi siya nag-ping test, and we, <coughs> minsan kami nga pumapasok kasi sobrang bagay din ang weekend. Mga ganun. May minsan kasi magbagay yung support na pag weekend. Uh, kami na mismo yung pumapasok sa server and we do the restart option. But matatutunan na siya habang pumatagal. Na, 